It's Cape Chronicle. I'm Jacob McClellan. Seniors and Lawmen Together, or SALT, is a group that connects police officers with senior citizens in our area. I'm joined now by Doug Austin. Doug, thank you so much for coming out to talk with us today. My pleasure. Always, uh, always a thrill for me to get to talk about Cape Girardeau and especially about our seniors and lawmen together. It's always well, a pleasure. Well, can kind of run through some of the uh, some of the issues that that Salt will uh, that Salt focuses on. Uh, an oversimplification would be uh, we try to keep the senior citizens in our area and our police friends connected as friends, and within that framework. We're trying to educate our senior citizens to where we can prevent as many problems as possible so they can maintain a better quality of life. They've been there, they've done there, they've paid their dues, and we want to make sure that they don't get caught up in, in various frauds or scams or abuse or all of those things and people that prey on senior citizens today. That's what we're trying to accomplish. And always let the senior citizens know if you have a question, Call the police department. It's not a matter of you're going to get someone in trouble. They are your friends. Call them and let them connect with you and work that out. And it's, uh, I've been in SALT now for be 15 years next month, so it's been a pleasure for me. I've really enjoyed it, really enjoyed it. Are, are, there, are there any particular issues that senior citizens should be, should be aware of that, that SALT helps that salt helps them uh helps helps right now it seems like the hot buttons are are there's so much fraud and scams whether it be on the telephone or people knocking on your doors we're just so senior citizens in general are so susceptible to that because my generation was raised not that they're not other people raised that way different today but my generation was raised to be polite we would never hang up the phone on someone you know, we always hear, well, if that guy calls you on the phone and, and you know it's a crook, just hang up on him. We don't do that. It is against our nature. It's against our nature to say, no, get out of my face. That makes us so susceptible to the scam artists. And right now it's the check in the mail you get that if, if you cash this check and, mm -hmm. and then out of this $3,000 check, send us $400. Yeah, well, lots of luck with that. Call the police right then. Let them get on it early and help you. So that's, that's the basic of the whole thing. In fact, we're having a, a senior information day uh, that we do once a year, uh, September the 25th of uh, this month at the Eagles. And we'll have about, oh, probably 300 senior citizens there to talk to them about the, uh, some of our highway patrol friends are coming in to do a program. Uh, 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 drug abuse people are coming in to do a program because one of the things that's running rampant right now in senior citizens is their friends and their neighbors and their kids and their grandkids are to getting into their medicine that they take. We're trying to set up preventative measures for that and we'll have about 30 different agencies on hand in this day-long seminar with our senior citizens September the 25th to help educate our senior citizens so we can keep our seniors out of those problems. We'd much rather use preventative maintenance than to try to come in after the fact and piece it back together. As, as I understand it, there have even been some door-to-door uh, -door scams that have, been, that have been going around in Cape Girardeau in the Tree area. Tree trimmers are big Tree time trimmers, right yeah. now. Tree trimmers are big time going around right now. Well, for just a mere hundred bucks, we can take care of this problem for you. And the hundred dollars changes hands and the first thing you know, you're talking to the back of their head and they never show up again. But they're so convincing. But they prey on us senior citizens because we're a bunch of polite folks. Now, some of us are loud and borderline aggressive and overbearing, <laughs> but we're polite folks. We were raised that way. Tell us, uh, tell us a little bit about the, uh, the Salt uh, Monument that you have out at, uh, at the, uh, at the, at the well, Cape County Park. Uh, little known fact, but uh, we, we completed this uh, in 2013. But in this area, there has been 48 police officers, 49, we're adding another. We discovered a, a gentleman from the Cape County Sheriff's Department in, I think it was 1941, died of a heart attack while trying to put this ne'er-do-well in the jail. Well, there, now there's 49 police officers from this area that have given their life in the line of duty. We were able to complete that monument out at Cape County Park last year, and it's three granite markers with the 49 names and the date of their death on there. Uh, our friend Roger Fields, who recently passed away, was a, that was his, his passion, his calling was to honor those 48 people and to honor and pay proper respect and homage to their family members. So we just completed that last year. It's, it was about a, 
about a four year long project to do all of the research and, and put it all together and whatnot. We do an annual event that's a memorial to those police officers. And we're running uh, 300, 350 people that come out for that annual event. And it's a, uh, it tugs at your heartstrings. It's, it's a good program to bring, to remember those men and women, how they lived, not how they died, but how they lived and, and what their life stood for and what it was all about was to protect us. So it's a, it's a good program, one of my favorite things. Now, you, you mentioned uh, Roger Fields. He was the, uh, the assistant Cape Charter police chief who, yes. re who recently passed a, a, away far too young. Tell us a little bit about what you have planned for, well, for Roger. Well, uh, October the 13th, which would be Roger's birthday, uh, Roger would be 51, and we're doing a uh, unveiling of what we're calling, uh, it's a Roger's Dedication Day, Roger Fields Dedication Day, and we have a little program planned at Cape County Park North right beside the monuments of the 49 fallen police officers. We're not in with those monuments because Roger did not give his life in the line of duty, although he devoted his life to his chosen profession. So we're just adjacent to that. But we're, we will, we'll have about a 30 minute program starting at noon, and obviously the public is invited. It will cover an uh, opening prayer from our, our John Harth, who's uh, Father John Harth, I should say, is a chaplain. Uh, he will open with prayer. Uh, our Mayor Harry Redinger will read a uh, proclamation declaring that to be Roger Fields Day. Uh, Sheriff John Jordan from the Cape County Sheriff's Department will say a few appropriate words as we unveil the what we call the reflection bench. There's a bench that will be put out there with Roger's name on it and the SALT logo on it. And then Chief James Humphrey from Jackson will unveil the rock and th that's for a specific person purpose because Roger was a rock. So we've got a 2,000 pound rock there with uh, appropriate inscriptions on it about Roger and his chosen profession, honor to that profession. Jamie will do that. And then my pastor, Dr. Sean Watson, who is also one of our chaplains with the police department, will uh, say the final blessing and we go back home. Uh, we have it planned to be, uh, I'm, a, I'm an organizational freak, I admit that, but it will be uh, 23 minutes and it will be over. It's not intended to be a big emotional thing because we don't want to get into that, but we want it to bring honor and proper respect to Roger Fields and his family, his wife and his two boys. We've been talking today with Doug Austin. He's one of the organizers for Seniors and Lawmen Together, or SALT. Thank you so much for talking with us. Thank you, sir. My pleasure.